So in like the last couple of weeks, I've been just reflecting and I realized life is short and I should be living it to the fullest. So me and my sister and my ma went to PetSmart and we stumbled across some hamsters and I said I want one. So I got one. Hamsters were my best and only friends growing up. When I was a kid and my mom let me get a hamster, it was literally the best day in the entire world and I'm experiencing that same amount of joy right now. Pinky's not like other hamsters, like she's like a lot smaller. She's not like those other hamsters that are all like, oh my god, I'm a hamster, like I'm big and I'm slow and I look like a dork, like she's not like that. No offense to all the other hamsters. She's extremely classy, like she just knows she's pretty, like I can't explain it. When she walks around, she's just like, oh like, do you wanna get my good side? Oh wait, I have all good sides. Like that's literally this hamster, I love her so much. I wanna be her, she's so confident. So yeah, I spent about like 20 times the amount that she actually cost on her cage and all the accessories which was it was worth every penny I had so much fun with this and I can't wait to keep improving it I want to save up on like the toilet paper rolls and just create tunnels like an underground world for her I just want her to be so happy and I want to like spoil her so yeah this is the setup I have like this little chair and I just kind of sit on it and like watch her I've already watched her for like I don't know like two to three hours I just sit here and I just watch her it's a lot more like healthy for your mind. Like instead of going on my phone and scrolling through Instagram or Twitter, like I'm sitting here admiring this creature. Sometimes you see her like squished against the glass or she'll walk on the wheel or she'll eat some seeds. She'll stuff her face and then she'll like throw it all up somewhere in the corner. Bianca, what do you think about me getting a hamster? So let's tell more of the story. We were in PetSmart and I saw the little hamsters and one was so, so little. I knew Juliana would like it because it's so small, it was so beautiful. I went to go get Juliana. She was just kind of like all over the place and I was like, you have to cook these hamsters. Like I pulled her over and yeah <laughs> what kind of cage do i get it oh maybe i want to get them oh look little baby balls bianca i really want to go home I'm ready. wait mommy i want to get this hamster <laughs> and she's like wait i really want it. wait should i get it wait i really wanted it it was so beautiful and she's had what five hamsters yeah i'm a pro at hamsters five hamsters okay so what's the official name of this breed of hamster. It's called the Robo Hamster, averaging under two centimeters at birth. <laughs> Oh, it is so little. It lives two to three years. I'm fully prepared for the two to, two three, to three year lifespan. <laughs> Robo hamsters love nuts, and in addition to being an excellent source of protein, they contain no cholesterol and very few amounts of saturated fat, which makes them a fantastic snack. Walnuts, pecans. Wait, the, the hamster a snack? Just nuts in general. Oh, I thought it was saying like, which makes the hamsters a delicious snack in general. No. <laughs> Look at oh. She's so little. That's why she's a pinky. Robo hamsters are one of the few breeds that thrive when paired together. Does this mean I need to get another one? Oh my God, people sell the weirdest things on the internet. Why I'm like creeped out. I don't know if I want to show you. Will it give me nightmares? No. Are you sure? Uh, Pinky, do you think I can teach it to come? No. All of my hamsters were escape artists. We literally get a phone call from our neighbor. My hamsters ran away. The hamsters ran away and we get a phone call from the neighbor asking if we lost a hamster. <laughs> like three houses, like they're not close. Like, they're, they're not close, like, like it literally went through the cage, chewed through the cage, went through like wire the cage. The That's wire cage. The glass one. See, professional. And it looks so much better too. So aesthetic. But went through the cage, went through like the house, I don't even chewed some through something, got outside, <laughs> went to the neighbor's house. <laughs> three houses. Three houses down. And then we got it back. And then we got it back. <laughs> Which one was that, Puffles or Spiffy? I think it was Puffles. Puffles. 
house. When was the last time I had a hamster? I don't remember. Maybe I was 11. And then Juliana had a funeral for her, one of them, and she invited guests. She buried the hamster in the backyard and she, they all said a few words. Yeah, you had to RSVP. Bianca helped me print it out. Yeah, we printed out an invitation on the computer. It's still in my backyard. There you are! Oh, you guys, look at this. I put the hamster food in a mason jar because it just really fits the aesthetic. I feel like it looks really nice next to the cage. <laughs> this is what being 24 years old and owning a hamster looks like. And then I got this jar and I put these little treats for her <laughs> in there. Then I use this empty toilet paper roll thing to like pick her up because she's way too fast. I'm scared to do this because she'll literally jump right on my hands. So I have that. Literally. I have this little food dish and I got this little salt lamp. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? So it's like a little sunflower and then this is where she eats and drinks her water and her house she's currently in here I think she wants to be left alone even though it's nighttime like you're supposed to wake up I thought you were nocturnal right can I go to wait Can you I want to show you this she really loves this it's a birch tree I liked how it had that like light <laughs> You're being so disrespectful to pink. No, I'm not. I literally found the hamster for you. How cute is the bedding though? Come on, it's pink and white. Look at that. Wait, look. I paid $20 for this quiet wheel because I used to have hamsters growing up and they used to go on their wheels and I used to not be able to sleep. So I really needed to make sure I invested in a quiet wheel. And then I got this little woven basket. Woven? Woven. Woven? Woven. Woven. I thought me and Pinky could raise our pinkies and sip tea together. So I got her this little woven thing. And then I put these little apple orchard sticks. They are good for her teething. Look how cute this is. You can just hold them in your little hand. And I got twigs. We can just hang out and look at her. She's supposed to be awake right now. Juliana, just, I actually, now that I think about it, I've been trying to play with her for like the last two hours. It's okay, let her sleep. Wait, she's like very, stop it. Becca, what? Stop. I'm so tired. Okay, go to bed. Shh, be quiet. She's trying to sleep. Hi everyone, I'm going to bed. She's going to bed. It's 11.40 right oh now. Oh my gosh, it is. I thought it was like 9.40. No. I'm wired. This is why I need to go to sleep. I think I'm part hamster. <laughs> Good night, little one. Good night, baby. Bye, baby. Bye, Robo. Please get so much sleep so I can play with you first thing in the morning. <laughs> it was like it was only yesterday. <laughs> they grew up so fast. <laughs> Oh, Bianca, you're choking. Okay, I'm done. All right, guys, that's all for this Wednesday's video. If you wanted to keep up to date with Pinky, follow me on Instagram because I'm sure I'll be posting a lot of stories about her. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you next Wednesday. Bye.